Hi everybody, Mike McConville here again, Stratford, Ontario, Canada. This is Paul's reverse headstock firebird. We're going to be contouring this body. So I've kind of laid out with the masking tape some uh, guidelines to the reshaping and beveling that we're going to do on this guitar we'll give you and we'll give you a play-by-play -play, as always and then it'll be of course completely repainted in the Pelham blue tell he wanted me to contour the body we taped off all of the lines with masking tape where we want to contour and we're just starting this process so we're going to walk you through this whole thing so we're going to start with an 80 grit disc The 80 grit actually does a pretty good job, but we've got quite a bit of meat to remove here. Okay, so I've stuffed it up to the 60 grit, just for the center portion here where we really got to take off some meat. Yeah, that's cutting much better. There's such a huge garden industry now of guys building their own guitars from scratch and from kits and everything else. So yeah, it's just kind of a, a lesson on sort of contouring. Again, we've got this 60 grit that's really taken off some meat here, so you got to keep it moving. <laughs> So I'm kind of checking both sides as I go. This is our depth of cut line, and this is the sweep of the contour. So you, as you can see, we're getting pretty close. To it. A little bit more with that 60 grit, and I'll flip back to the 80. Our depth of cut is pretty well where I want it. I'm not going to go any further on this side with the 60, but I am going to sweep in a little bit closer to this line. Okay, here's our 220 grit. We're just going to finish this up, get it ready for sanding, sealer, and uh, wood filler. And that is our first taper completed. But we'll get this top portion next. Okay, this is the next sort of geometric step we're taking here. This bevel right here. Neat. I've left the width of that tape between this back bevel that you just saw me cut and the front bevel and then this will actually be hand sanded to blend the front and back bevels together. So what I've done here is I've urged the guitar up against the inside of those rails to give me a positive stop and hold it steady while I so that we can really trace that geometric curve and get rid of the lion's share of the meat of that mahogany before we switch over to a lighter grip. So that masking tape kind of marks the geometric footprint to sort of keep us in line here. What we're after here is you don't want to actually change the, the hard line of the outside perimeter of the body shape. We're contouring but we're not actually changing the shape and that's why we're leaving that little ridge between the back bevel and the front bevel. So I'm going to take a little bit more here with the 60 grit and then we'll step it up to 80. So the idea here is to keep the tool moving so that we want a nice even sweep and that's what we've got. I'm, I'm almost done. It didn't take much with this uh, 80 grit. This is pretty well done. We're going to switch over to 220 in a second. So we need to keep that sander moving in a nice smooth arc. And now we're ready for the 
So we've got a beautiful continuous sweep with no wavering, no lumps, nice and smooth. Those were the two main bevels. So this part of the beveling, we're going to basically slope down towards this line here. So we go from zero here and slope down into this top of the lower bout and basically blend this in. I want to try and keep a fairly crisp line along here. We've got this part done. Now we're ready to switch over to the 80 grit. We've done most of our heavy sanding with that uh, 60 grit. So 80, 120 and then we'll do the last of the bevel. Even though we've removed a lot of material doing all this beveling, we still have a nice crisp line of the outside perimeter. So we're not changing the outside perimeter or the overall shape of the body. We're just beveling it according to the customer's instructions. So in this final part of the job, we'll blend the waste taper in, into that overall shallow bevel. So we're just going to go a little bit deeper here and that's just about going to wrap it up. I know a lot of people are going, why are there pickups on the guitar? <laughs> I'll blow it off because uh, we're going to be doing a compensated nut, dressing the frets, and then setting this thing up within an inch of its life. Because Paul wants to actually try the guitar to feel what it's like to play. Done. Once all that final tweaking is done, then Darcy will work his magic and refinish the whole thing with that Pelham Blue.